Do you want to go to River Adventure? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video from our US trip. Vlog number 4 is focused on Universal's Islands of Adventure. There are three theme parks at Universal Orlando. For our ticket, we bought the two-part two-day ticket. We visited Universal Studios first, which we featured on vlog number 3. Then we went to Islands of Adventure the following day. Just like at the other park, we went straight to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But this time, we went to Hugsmeade. Before getting there, we passed by Sue's Landing and then the Lost Continent. Sue's Landing is based on the works of author Dr. Seuss. The Lost Continent is themed to ancient legends and myths. Inside this section is the Mythos Restaurant, which is a full-service restaurant that offers contemporary cuisine. Welcome to Hogsmeade! The beautiful snow-capped houses make it a perfect place to visit during the Christmas season. As you enter the village, you'll spot the Hogwarts Express train on your right. If you have a park-to-park -park ticket, you can board this train to King's Cross Station where Diagon Alley is located. This place is truly magical. For brunch, we went to three broomsticks. We love the ambience in this place. Brett and I ordered the traditional English breakfast. It has scrambled eggs, sausage links, black pudding, bacon, baked beans, grilled tomato with sautéed mushrooms and potatoes. For our drinks, we ordered orange and apple juice. It's the typical English breakfast that you can eat outside this park or prepare at home which costs less. I gave this meal a rating of 4 stars while Brad gave it 3 stars. After the heavy meal, we were ready to continue exploring around the park. This time, we went to Jurassic Park. Slide carrier into scanner.
the first ride we tried here is the River Adventure. Sino na basa sa River Adventure? Basang basa po siya, basang basa. Next stop, Skull Island. This place has only one activity, and it's an awesome 3D ride. Guests will ride a bus and go around the open part of Skull Island, which gives a realistic feel to it. The 3D experience begins once you enter the ruins. Inside Toon Lagoon, we went for two water rides. So, we went there. And now, <laughs> what happened to us? <laughs> For our snacks, we went to Captain America Diner. This is located inside Marvel Superhero Island. We are here at Captain America's Diner, and this is our view right now. We're outside. This is what we ordered chicken fingers and bacon cheeseburger. While waiting for our clothes to dry. <laughs> We're really wet from the two rides. After this, we tried two awesome rides in this area. The Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man and Doctor Doom's Fearfall. We went back to Hugsmead to have our dinner at Three Broomsticks. I wanted to try the hot butter beer, and it tasted really good. It tastes good, hot or cold. Five stars. For our meals, I got the shepherd pie platter, and Brad chose the fish and chips platter. The shepherd's pie platter includes ground beef, lamb, and vegetables with potatoes. The fish and chips is made up of fresh North Atlantic cud, buttered and fried with chips and tartar sauce. For our dessert, we got the Butterbeer Potted Cream. This one is delicious. It actually tastes like panna cotta with butterbeer flavor. If you love creamy desserts, then I highly recommend this when you're in Hugsmeade. Five stars for the Potted Cream. After this, we went to Honey Dukes, a wizarding sweet shop. The saltwater taffy was too sweet, but Brad actually liked it. The love potion and Felix Felicis are liquid sweets. Both have a shampoo consistency. 
The love potion looks really cute with a tassel and the bright pink heart-shaped vial. This one has a floral flavor while the Felix Felicis or the Liquid Luck has a hint of ginger in it. They both taste weird and it was not to our liking. One star for these treats. The chocolate frog is my favorite. It's made of milk chocolate and the level of sweetness is just right. It comes with a collectible wizard trading card, just like in the Harry Potter films. We went inside Hogwarts Castle for a ride called Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. It's a 3D ride. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take any photos or videos inside the castle because I forgot to bring my phone after leaving our bags inside the guest lockers. Before leaving the park, we waited for the Christmas light show outside Hogwarts Castle. It was a perfect closing activity before leaving this magical place. Islands of Adventure! Outside Islands of Adventure, we bought souvenirs from the Universal Studio store. Of course, our trip here won't be complete without buying souvenirs. That's it for vlog number four. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to be notified on our next vlogs, simply hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Bye!